Hi, my name is Aline from the Labware support team and today we are configuring your label. So before printing, you should go under settings in your backend and then go to print a label. Here is where all the printer configure is. On here you can put your company name and the size of the QR code. By default the size is 2, but in case it's too small you can make it bigger, like 3 or 4 for example. On here you can select which information will be displayed on your label, for example your company name, material, quality, thickness, number, uh, measure and composition for example. In here we have the label type and you have two options, the regular printer or the thermal printer. We recommend the thermal printer because it's sun resistant and waterproof. But in case you go for the regular type, you have the A4 and the A4 3.4. You can always go here and click to test and see how your label is going to look like. If you go for the regular type, you have these two options. The main difference here is that the A4 3.4 is weather resistant, while the A4 is not. In case you have a zebra printer, let's see how it's done. If you're going to use the zebra printer, before printing indeed, you should install the program in the website and the link will be in the description below. Once you get into the website, you will choose if the download for Windows, Android or Mac. In this case, I'm using Windows. Then once I hit the version, I will select download. Then accept and begin download. Okay, once the program is installed, you should hit next. Then you should specify what is your computer port. Normally it's used USB. In this case, I'm, I'm using this one. So I will leave USB checked and hit next. Then you should go for manual install. And then next, install printer. Now, you should choose which printer you are using. In this case, I'm using the GC420. So I'm using the GC420 and then I selected my printer and then next. Now, you should choose which port you are using. In this case, I'm using USB 1. I choose the USB and hit next. Then you should uncheck this box here and finish. And then finish. Here you will choose which printer you're gonna use. Before printing in fact, you should, you should calibrate your printer. You can do this by opening the printer tools, hit action button, and then calibrate media and hit send then it should start calibrating your printer. Okay, now in order to print your label, you should go back to your Zlabware backend, then on the print label tab, you should choose which label size you are using. In my case, I'm using the 4x1. Then I choose here, hit save. Now, you should go under inventory, list of slabs, and choose which material do you want to print your label. I'm choosing Alaska White, for example. Um, in here, you can choose which slabs do you want to print. You can choose here, but in my case, I'm selecting all of them. Then you should hit Actions and then Print Label. Now, a TXT file will be downloaded. You will you see that it's a little bit weird, but you are not printing from here. You will close this, then open your Zebra Setup Utilities again, hit this, the printer you are using, open Printer Tools, hit Action, then Send File, and hit these three dots here. In here, you will choose the file you just downloaded in this Labware, and then open. In here, you click send and it should start working now. 
And that's it. If you have any questions, please contact us through Slugware support. All the contact information will be in the description below. Thanks!